Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of... Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the 1988 Series 5 Decepticon crankcase. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. I'm going to point out things that you need to be aware of if you have to purchase someone for yourself because although he's a very very simple bot there are loads of things that can go wrong with him and as I'm lucky enough to have one still in the packaging we can have a look at the artwork and the battle scene that's on the back of that. Right then, let's have a look at him. And I've got to confess, I've got a bit of a soft spot for this guy because I have great memories of playing with him when I was a child. As I say, he is super, super basic. If you want to go for articulation, you've pretty much got the arms which move at the shoulders there. And that is it. The legs are fused together. They only move up and down, but that's because of the transformation process. Um, and I'm not even going to do that, to be fair. Uh, but what made this guy so great, and I'm going to attempt to show you, because although I've got too loose, let's be honest, this is the gimmick that pretty much they break so, so easily. So they were known as a trigger con. There were trigger bots as well. So you can hear there's a bit of a motor in there. And if I press this button down here, sometimes way sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so of course they trigger their weapons into action like that and it, it's pretty cool and it was so much better uh when i was a child um uh, but yeah you know that's pretty much as basic as he is things to be aware of even in robot mode the stickers are going to play a part the corroded screws you can see i've got there but luckily they're not too bad up and around the top there's metal bits here in the wheels and they can get corroded as well. Um, and of course, stickers in the alternate mode, which we'll have a look at now. Um, yeah, in all honesty, the loose examples I've got aren't really the greatest. His alternate mode is a four wheel drive off road vehicle, but we don't know exactly what. You can see there that the stickers are faded and you can see here what I was on about with the corrosion. Uh, but the trigger device should work, <laughs> should, as I say, work in both modes um and it was again just a just i suppose silly little gimmick but it worked and if you're a child it's things like that that impress you you can see as well if you've got loose joints this will start to hang low and to be honest this is quite a bad example of it if i just pull his head out you can see what his head looks like if you start to lose the paint and that's because for the transformation process you've got to press it down and pull it up so be aware of that basically you want to see it in both modes before you decide on making a purchase one last thing to look at then quickly is the sealed example and this was the artwork there for him which looks brilliant i'm wondering why he's got green eyes there though but he hasn't in that of course the toy um, that's what the stickers should look like or well, there's none on the side i've not put them in the factory one on the front as you can see is shining lovely and then if we spin it round at the back we haven't got a battle scene unfortunately we've got his tech spec which is there and then that is the transformation process so there's the gimmick transformation process is pull the bonnet down or the hood i think it's called in america it's flip the back around and you can lift the arms up that is as basic as you're gonna get but again 1988 so two years after the mini bot stopped um, 87 we had the throttle bots and in 88 we've got the trigger cons and the trigger bots so they kept i suppose the stocking fillers or the pocket money um figures going because that's pretty much exactly what this guy is one of the cheaper ones one of the budget figures but again great little gimmick and i hope you enjoyed looking at him um, if you've got any more figures you want to see from Generation 1, let me know. Um, I've got all of the Hasbro ones for those of you who are new to this channel. Um, I've got all of them, and if you want one showcasing that I've not already done a video on, just let me know. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.